Hello everyone, welcome back to The Real South Africa. You're gonna enjoy this. We're hanging out at the racetrack now, at the horse track, actually, with other tourism professionals. So check us out, see how we roll here in the Republic of South Africa. And also too, we are members of the African Tourism Association. Please visit their website, sign up for all their newsletters because it gives you good insight onto what's going on in Africa. All right guys, this is uh, Mark Blanton from The Real South Africa. And a lot of you guys know that I go to the Porsche dealership regularly to check on things. And of course, I happen to be part of the, the whole process, meaning that I have one as well. So I like going there, you know, getting the free coffee because, hey, I'm part of the Porsche family. But I got a box. They've been calling me for months saying they're going to send me a gift. So this is this gift and it says Fragili right there. Fragili. Oh, what says it right here? Fragile. Anyway. I knew what it meant. So I finally got it today and it was a long story because I knew I knew it was coming. Didn't know what day it was coming, but because they kept trying to find out what my address was and make sure they had the right address. So the driver calls me and guess where I was? I wasn't even home. So I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it. But anyway, just do a little bit of work. I was able to make sure that the brother left this package um, here. I don't know exactly what it is, but as you guys know, I've been a Porsche fan since I was a, a child. I was a child a long time ago. So you can see I've been, I got 40 something plus years, um, you know, obviously past 50. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna open it up now, but it's pretty cool. I like the box, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. Uh, almost just whatever it is, I just wanna leave it in the box because I can sit it on my little counter and it, it'll look nice as a Porsche guy. Um, it's funny, I have old magazines from 10 years ago that are Porsche related. And yeah, I, I still look at them from time to time. Um, Cause in the Porsche world, whatever is happening then is happening now and vice versa. Nothing, everything evolves, it just doesn't change. So, um, but this is the box that came in and it says it right here, a gift from Porsche. So yes, I do feel a little special. I'm not gonna front, I'm not even gonna lie. And that's why, you know, even the bags that I get, the little, when I buy stuff, I keep the little bags because it has a Porsche logo on it as well. And sometimes I get up in the middle of the night to go in, in, in the garage just so I can just kind of, you know, look at one of those things. So as we go, I have what they sent me and I pre appreciate Porsche South Africa for sending this to me. Whatever it may be, we are about to find out. It better not be what I think it is. Okay, there's two bottles in here. Oh, these, oh, damn. Hmm, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, first, <laughs> this is hot. 2022 year in review, uh, year in review. Oh, there's some, oh, man, okay. <laughs> this is so cool, I got the book. So let me flip through a little bit and push this to, to the side. Thank you, Porsche. Oh, and it has, you know, I'm trying to show you this, like all the Porsches that are available today and whatnot, and all the different flavors and all the different stuff. So obviously you guys know I appreciate it. Um, and then of course, um, Kyle Lamy, I live around the, around the corner from Kyle Lamy Racetrack. So that's nice too. So I think we have an international race coming up really soon. Matter of fact, let me show you this right here. You know, I've been here for a while and I actually bought a, a Cayenne, just a few days older, newer than this one. And my intention is to do this because this is South Africa. There's a lot of off-road things going on. So I'm actually at some point gonna have lights on my vehicle, push bar the whole nine because I want to get on the off-road because some of the best things in South Africa are off-road. So, but yeah, this is absolutely amazing. So, <sighs> They're making it hard for me because now I'm thinking of the next the next vehicle I could possibly get. So that was amazing. So let me put this to the side. And then of course, I don't know what's in here. It's probably, I don't know. It's a little letter, a little something here. And of course, if I want to order more, more what this says, which I'm going to pull out in just a second, put that to the side. I mean, you know what? Let me, let's go with Santa Box. I know you guys are wondering, what did they send him? Again, I guess it pays off to constantly be going to the Porsche dealership, talking to the people, 
talking about Porsche, um, the brand itself here in South Africa. And I think we have the largest um, Porsche dealership definitely in Africa. So, <laughs> I have this. Oh, I'm sorry, I have this. So they sent me some wine. So the holidays or the or the season is up on us. And so I have some wine from Uvamara. And I'm probably saying it wrong. It's a Savion Blanc 2021. And from Stellenbosch, which is here in South Africa, because they have some of the best wines. So I'm going to be doing this as well. So, <laughs> right. And then next, I'm going to put this to the side because there's another bottle. They've been so kind. I wonder why they was calling me so much because they wanted me to answer the phone. Ha <laughs> ha. And then I got the same brand of wine from Uva Mira, Uva. University of Virginia, Mirror, <laughs> this player. Um, and this one is a Merlot, a 2018 Merlot from Stellenbosch. And then of course, if I ever decide I wanted to have more, there's a Porsche customer wine order form. So you guys are probably wondering, why do I always do this Porsche thing? Because when I was in the States, they invite us out to track days, take care of us, feed us, we get to drive the latest Porsches. We get track instruction, we do these things. It's a lifestyle. And of course, hate to say it, but the real South Africa is a lifestyle as well. and something that you can get to be a part of. So I really appreciate poor South Africa doing this. This is absolutely amazing. I don't even know what else to say. I got my wine. I will be drinking this really, really soon because it's festive season here in the Republic of South Africa. I just happen to be in the Republic of South Africa. And I think I just like saying Republic of South Africa. So, um, yeah, reach out to us. Oh, of course, you can uh, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Real South Africa, um, on YouTube. And, of course, the website, therealsouthafrica.com. Then, of course, the Facebook page. If you go to Facebook, just put in The Real South Africa as a search, and we will pop up. But in the meanwhile, I hope you guys have a great day, because I think I am, and this is absolutely amazing. So when I go back to the Porsche dealership, I'm seeing if, if there's anything else in the box. So when I go back over there, I'll make sure I will I will thank them, because they, they were being very coy about me having, um, you know, my address and making sure I'm good, even though I gave it to them 50 times and whatnot. So have a great day. Hey, you guys, we have a documentary as well on Amazon Prime Video in the U.S. only now, but we're going to be putting some co content together to get to you guys and the rest of the world. But check us out. It's pretty awesome because we did it for you. All right, guys, the real South Africa has arrived at Turfington. We're out looking at some horses race. So this is going to be amazing. But of course, you know, we're part of the Joburg tourism um, situation. So, of course, you know, the ladies are over here checking out the food because they're taking care of us. <laughs> and of course, there go Tasha right there. She's doing her thing. And then, of course, they have some nice offerings. And that's where you're going to find Tasha. Mm -hmm. you guys on Instagram. Oh, Lord. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. You used to find us on YouTube. That's, that's, on YouTube. Oh, yeah, that's where everybody is. You just told me about you, so I went on Instagram, but I'll, yeah. I'll get all the other YouTube stuff. You'll find us. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. And so as I'm going through, of course, we got the bar action going on, which I'm very happy about because, you know, we're going to be here for a few hours checking out the horses. And then of course you got yourself, you got Mark Blanton himself here at the at the Joe Bird um, box. I'm gonna call it a box. They're taking care of us here, so don't worry about it. We're gonna we're gonna be alright. But yeah, we're gonna go out here and look at some of the other people that are um, in tourism because obviously, you know, we do tourism pretty big and they really appreciate what we actually do. So this is gonna be what we call amazing. Now I might get a little loud, but we're here and I'm gonna show you a couple horse races 
So we got this young lady here who's trying to ignore me, but it's okay. <laughs> there you go. They go cozy, y'all. They go cozy. And then of course we got this little situation over here. Good people from uh, SA um, Airways and so forth. And then down here, I have. This is what we're going to be doing today. Checking out the horse races. And this gentleman over here staring me down as if I if I put my camera on him, he gonna he gonna get me. But he don't know. How y'all doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm happy. You know what? I haven't bet on any horses, but I I, I may get my wife to do it. Cause it'll be our first time. Yeah, I used to do this a lot in Kentucky, so. Oh, okay. I, I'm very curious. I was actually asking you, how does this whole thing work? Oh yeah, just just give them your money and then if they give you something back, then that means you won. So, but you don't have to bet on the first guy. You can burst on the play scene, first, second, and third. You can. You, there's so many ways to make money. So like with this ticket, there's this guy called uh, Marching On. He came on the. He came number one, but it's on my ticket, so it goes like this. Do I win? It has to be in if it's in order. I'm not sure. It, it would. It, was, it should tell you. I don't know. I don't know how it works here because I haven't. I haven't bet it here. It should be the same. Uh, it should be. Yeah. It should be. Should be. Okay. Enjoy the race. Okay. And keep you. and keep drinking. Hi <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. Are we gonna go through here? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so, so these are a lot of people that are in the tourism space. I think, at least they say they are. Can't really tell. And then go down here, and this is where I'm going to be a little bit later on. But this is this is this is another part of the real South Africa. Don't let them tell you anything else, because this is what happens here in South Africa. We actually race horses, and it's funny because this is. Not Durban, July. Obviously, I'm just kind of showing you what's going on. Matter of fact, let me let me put this on me because you probably want to see me. <laughs> so this is in Durban, July, but the, one of the biggest of horse racing events is in Durban. That's why it's called Durban. Happens in July. Um, happens during the in the U.S. during our Fourth of July weekend. So, um, but yeah, so it's a it's a big deal, and so horse racing is big here in South Africa, and if you didn't know that, now you know. And if you look around, look who's out here. And of course you can bet, and do all the stuff like you would in the States. And this is, like I said, right now we're in Johannesburg. So, we got another race coming up shortly, so I'm going to show you that race really soon. But if you look at the screen over there, if you can see it, um, yeah. And of course, you know, some people won, and then some people lost. So it's going to be, a matter of fact, let me walk down here. I'm acting like I'm restricted. <laughs> oh my God. But this country has so much to offer. So much. You know? And, uh, but you got you to gotta get here, come as a tourist, spread out a little bit, and, 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 and check out some things. I will tell you, that um, you know, there's some people from from Soweto Tourism here. Um, we're having conversations, and they're talking about, hey, you know, people need to be coming to Soweto. There's more, you know, than meets the eye. So, and of course, I've told them that we bring people to Soweto all the time. But I'm learning more and more about Soweto and some of the things. So we're going to be partnering up with those guys and and bringing you guys more offerings, more culturally, um, you know, and educational type stuff. But of course, you know. The food is going to be good because that's you know it's all about the food and whatnot. But yeah, let me matter. Let me show you another scene. If you look out there, way out there, all those buildings. That's the that's the CBD, the Central Business District of um, Johannesburg. It's not um, you know Santon City. It's not Waterfall. So that's just another little area that we have, you know, things are happening here. Things are happening here in South Africa. So all I can say is get here, get here with the real South Africa. Let us give you a proper experience because, you know, people think that just, you know, booking a hotel, 
and then trying to figure it out is the way to go. And um, we got travelers that are here now that are li literally like, you know what? I'm so glad you guys do what you guys do because you guys are showing South Africa proper. I didn't get here and I had to figure out where, when, and how, and how am I going to pay for it? And you know, is it you know South Africa? You know, do they take American dollars, which they you know generally don't? Um, you know, just all the stuff that we just know because we're here full time. And of course, like I said, we're part of tourism here. You know, we're not just you know some of you guys are seeing us on YouTube. We're not just a, you know YouTube. We're just kind of creeping around just trying to you know see what type of content that we can get we are actually you know we get invited to all the tourism stuff simply because you know they know that you know we have actually impacted the amount of um, travelers and especially african-american travelers from the u.s they they know this and uh you know and they're showing their appreciation and of course we appreciate them recognizing us um as such so again if you want to come here proper you know everything taken care of you know visit our website the real south and once you get there just kind of pick a pick a location you want to go to and how long you want to go how many people that you're bringing and you know our, our website's pretty robust it'll, it'll 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 point you in the right direction but however if you still have a question or two um i would say um book a call or, or send us an email and then we will get it all sorted out for you and that's it. And then for those that are asking about, you know, do you guys, you know, do air? And let me tell you something. We don't do international air. We do domestic because you guys are not comfortable or know about how it works here. Because some of you guys are, are leaving Joburg, going to Durban. So we, we take care of that. And that's, we, that'll be part of your package. But we don't do international air for a lot of reasons. But the biggest reason is that a lot of times you can actually on your own, you know, get a better deal. So I'm not going to force you to go down our road. Um, if you can get a better deal, you know, sometimes you, you know, you might have a Costco membership. They have travel, um, you know, options there where you can um, use that. Some of you have AAA, and they have travel, you know, a travel desk where you can call. Even sometimes your credit card, you know, they get preferred rates when it comes to being able to fly, you know, um, you know, from the U.S. here. So we just, it just makes sense, and it's made sense every single time um when people came here that they were able to you know get their flight and then of course at that point you can you know get your points and you know do all the stuff and so it it kind of works that way versus us trying to source something um it's something that you can easily source obviously the internet's wonderful these days and you know source that and then just you know just send us your ticket confirmation and saying hey this is when i'm arriving um the airport you need to pick is uh, it's called jm jnb um yeah, J and B, and it's OR International, OR Tambo International Airport, and then you'll be here with us doing all these great, wonderful things like everyone else, and of course, you know, eating the food because everybody likes the food, and so forth. But yeah, so when the next race come, I will bring it to you. So I will see you here in sunny South Africa. Hey y'all, this is Mark Blanton. I'm back. Man, I'm sitting with these ladies here. They're from KZN, um, Kwazulu Natal. Am I saying it right? Kwazulu Natal. Kwazulu Natal. Yes, Natal. you're saying it right. Whew, I made it. The uh, only province with a name in the center. See, now she's talking. You hear? I'm gonna turn it around. We're gonna have some conversation. So what's going on? What's going on? I got hi, you on. Hi, Mark. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. Yeah, this is Sandra here. I'm from KwaZulu Natal. You okay. know we say the only province with a name and a surname. <laughs> That's way too much. I'm just saying, too, much, know, huh? too much information. <laughs> and then also we're sitting with someone else, her friend. Zandi. Zandi. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Zandi. Okay. Yes, yeah. Okay. Zandi. And she's a so she's a proper Zulu. Yes, yeah, because a Zulu. There's a Zulu in my store. Have you watched that movie? No. Uh, Is it on Showmax? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> it must be from back in the day. Yes, yeah, no, no. I think Netflix can find it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay, okay, so people should be watching more Zulu content. Mm -hmm. No, they should. There's some good stuff out there. Yeah. Me? Uh -huh. Five years. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I watch a lot of stuff. You know, there's an another version of um, How Do I destroy it. I remember the, the one for Christmas, oh, then the okay, wedding. Yes, now yeah, there's, yeah, yeah, there's going to be another one yes, yeah. for um, 
for um it's baby shower. Baby shower. Yeah, yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. It should be out soon. Cool, yeah, cool, cool, cool. So now we're in the tourism space. At least I am. And you are and Santo. And Santo's in the tourism space. She says she is, but I haven't heard anything that says she's in tourism. What do you love to hear? So I'm going to vet her to make sure she's in the season of tourism space. Watch this. So, do you think that these people in my market, the Americans, do you think they should come to South Africa? Oh, definitely. They're actually missing a lot if they're not coming to South Africa. Really? There is a lot to uh, see and a lot. Do you mean just case it in, or do you mean? No. Not just KZN. Obviously, I'm biased because yeah. I'm from KZN originally. Yeah. But besides KZN, there's so much to see. Yeah. In Hauke, yeah. you know, we are currently in Hauke. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hauke province, which is a state. Yeah. yeah. In your world, you will call it a state. state. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So. so there is so much to see in Hauke. Mm -hmm. And we have Western Cape, which is Cape yeah. Town. Yeah. But yeah. I love it. Wait, what's that? Yeah. What's that about Western Cape? Western Cape, no, no. It's Western Cape. Yeah, Cape Town. That's yeah, Cape Town. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's cool. You know. It's cool, but, but you know, people are not friendly there. What? They're not friendly. It's not what I heard. No, no, no. Only, I mean, I think it's only made of tourists. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. And that's the local. So basically, if, if they're going to meet the people, they need to come yes. here. Come to KZN. Yes. Then they can just yeah. Okay. Cool. So now, I think, if I remember correctly, you you're part of the re re restructuring of of um, SA Airways, or are you part of that, right? No, 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 no. Okay, Not tell part me about of that. We part of um, I'm part of the association. Who? Association. Association. Uh, yes, that is for black uh, tour operators. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We we've been chatting about that over there at the other table. Yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah. No, we work together with a uh, different group called a uh, called Santo Vito. Okay. We are from a group called uh, Stia, uh -huh. which is for small tourism enterprise association. So we we are organized on this side. Because people think that we're not organized. Oh, let's do it. Ah, there we go. But anyway, people think that we're not organized. Oh, no, no, no. But we we are, are very, very organized. So if you are looking for the ground handlers, the yeah. best ground handlers in yeah. South Africa, you just need to talk to us. And that's who we've been working with because we bring people all the time from the U.S. And they're like, you know, wow, you guys got it sorted. And they're like, yeah, because we're working with good people. Yeah, yeah. People are like, is this just you two doing it? I'm like, no, we got a lot of people. You got a lot of crowd members who yeah. handle all the yeah. tourists coming into the country. Cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. We got this young lady. She's um, she's giving me a hard time. Let me I thought, let me put let me put it on this one over here. Cause she can't wait to get back to to, to KZN. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Hey guys, you got Mark and Latasha Blanche from the Real South Africa. Hey guys, how are you? <laughs> and of course, we're at the racetrack, as you guys can possibly see. I'm looking, I'm looking. Yeah, and we're waiting for the horses to come by. I think Tasha made a bet, and I think I think she might win. I'm not a better. Yeah, I'm she says that now, but she bet on me one time and she won. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was funny, right, y'all? <laughs> I yeah. almost thought we was gonna kiss, but no, thank you. Uh, not the, in public, not in yeah, public. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the horses are coming. So we're gonna show you that. Yeah. But this this is what happens in South Africa, guys, man. The unexpected. You know, Joe Burke Tourism was nice to bring us in, and then we came, and now we're happy that we got a chance to see some horses. Sorry, I keep looking back. Yeah, this is Tasha's first horse race. This is not my first rodeo. So. I'm so excited. You got something more to do. Yeah. Okay, guys, They're I'm about coming. to show you all the horses. <laughs> So here they come. They're yelling, they're yelling. Yeah. So there's the Jumbotron. But here come the horses. <laughs> I'm not even cheering for anybody. I'm just... <laughs> now they getting it, ain't they? Go, 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 go. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Legs, boy. <laughs> 
That's thoroughbreds. Boy. So Tasha, what'd you think? <laughs> that was beautiful. The horse's legs were gorgeous. Yeah. They did a very nice, beautiful gallop. And um, I think I want to be a horse next time. Yeah. So I think this is Tasha, like I said, this is her first, her first rodeo. So, you know, we wanted to have that experience. And it's always better to have it the first experience. Because we in South Africa having this experience. I think South Africa makes everything better. So <laughs> this is um it's a, it's a nice it was a hot day, but it's cooling off now, and yeah. I'm grateful to Joburg Tourism for inviting us out here. I would have never even known this was going on, so yeah. grateful for the um, grateful for the invite. And mm -hmm. um, the horses look beautiful, and I can definitely say I'll do it again. Yeah, for sure. I, I think what I like about it is the fact that you know all this tourism people we, we, we come together and try to bring the best, but we got to experience it ourselves. So hey, if you come here and there's a horse race and y'all want to come and, and, and bet on the horses, if you've never done it before. And this is it. So, hey, we'll see you here in sunny South Africa. Bye. <laughs>